Wow, thank you so much ladies and gentlemen who are watching us outside there. This is Chokea Services and my name is Julius Kujula as you saw. Today we are celebrating the World Food Day here in Serere, Chikota, known as Nasari here. As you are seeing, Nasari has done a lot of things here in Tesla sub-region, here in Uganda, and here in Africa. There is, and gentlemen, you know, World Food Program has done a lot of things, and you all know that. It was... Now, today here... what the Nasari is doing here as you see uh, this how healthy this granite is I don't know whether you can also produce this and remember today they have uh, showcased the new variety of granite and soya beans that people are going to start planting today so here we're having a uh, honorable Helen Adoa who is the State Minister for Fisheries here in Uganda. We shall be receiving the guest of honor. The guest of honor, Honorable Aluko, Mama who, who is our Vice President here in Uganda. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you came to this place here so that you'll be able, and it is a place that needs every farmer to come and visit here. They'll be able to help you. Don't do your things alone there as if you, we don't have the biggest research here in Uganda and here in Africa. So please, as you see people there, this place is very large. As you see people are seeing the demonstration sites there and all those people who came for the celebration today here. And believe, guys, it is only us to change the mindset of all our farmers there. It is our government to support the farmers there. But there are so many people who are trying to do something to change the narrative here in Africa. Let me take you to the other side because I, I can see another variety there. But allow me first read me this because I think there are so many varieties here. Now this one is granite nasari and this one is called acholi white. The variety is acholi white. A year of release. This one was released in 1966. Wow, the yield there is 1,900 to 2,500 kilograms. Maybe I think per acre. And then the market type is Valencia. Maturity period is 90 to 100 days there. This granite you are seeing here. So guys, uh, let me uh, take you to the another one. There are so many varieties here. There is this variety here, ladies and gentlemen. This one is the uh, also granite variety is narrow. Wow, oh, this one is narrow nut. Narrow nut, one R. A year of release. This one was released in 2019. Uh, then the yield here, uh, 200, uh, 2000. 500 to 2,700 kilo, kilograms per, per acre. Oh my God. And now market type, uh, Spanish. Market type is Spanish. Then the maturity, the maturity period is seven, 75 to 85 days. Wow. Aha. Uh -huh. Guys, let me take you there. I can see the sorghum the other side. Uh, I think let me take you to the sorghum side, this side here. Guys, it is time for us to utilize our research. We shall be receiving the guest of honor. always there to support the farmers all over Mamba Biri Mim. Japan's one. Thank you. Who came? I hope this uh, blog will be able to help you do a lot of things. Um, the lecturers here were very busy, that's why I have just, they have just allowed me to come and showcase you this because today we are celebrating the 44th World Food Day here in Nasari, Serere, Eastern Uganda and here in Tesla sub-region. This one is sorghum. This is sorghum as you're seeing this sorghum here but I have to show you the types. The variety is Eru, Eru, 
Epure Pur. Oh my god. The variety is Epure Pur. Then the yield is 2,500 to no, 2,500 to 3,000 kilogra kilograms per acre here. Then we have the maturity period is 90 to 100 days. Within 90 to 100 days, you're able to get uh, this sorghum here. I'm told here tolerant, uh, tolerant to stranger and drought. This one is this one here. Wow. Let me showcase you this one. There are so many varieties. That is sorghum. Uh, then this one is uh, still sorghum, but I have to tell you the variety. This is CISO 1. Wow. I think this is CISO 1. Uh, this, this sorghum here you're seeing is CISO 1. Uh, CISO, CISO 1. The yield is 2,500 2, to 3,000 kilograms per acre. Early maturity, 90 to 100 days, and you're able to harvest it. At uh, this one here. Uh, then the, the seed color is creamy white. You see it, it is creamy white. Attributes good for beers, beer and porridge. This one is good for beer and porridge, ladies and gentlemen. Let me show you the last. Uh, the last. There are so many varieties of sorghum here. And uh, let me show you, uh, showcase you this one, then I'll take you to the other side. Uh -huh. This one here is uh, a Yara. This one is a Yara 2. I don't know whether Yara 2. This one is also sorghum. The yield is 1,000, 1,500 to uh, 2,000 kilograms per acre. Oh my God. Uh -huh. Then this one here, the color, the, ma the maturity is 90 days. Still the 90 days. Uh, and the, the color is brown. It is brownish, this one here. It is a resistant, this one is resistant, resistant to sorghum. Okay, this one here. I hope you are able to notice this one. Don't mix them because they are very many. They have put a lot of small gardens here uh, to showcase you. Then this type here of sorghum, this one here, you can see the, this one is called the Eterema. A terema the yield is 1,500 to 2,000 kilograms per acre. The maturity rate, uh, the uh, early maturity, 120 to 130 days, and it will be ready. The color, the color of this seed, the seed color is red. This one here. Wow. So thank you so much, guys. Uh, for that, let me take you to the other side. Ow. Wow, wow. So welcome to Nasari, ladies and gentlemen, here where we produce food. And I believe that's why Serere is a food basket. Oh, a food basket here in terms of sub-region. Wow, 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 wow. Let me take you to Millet. <laughs> Let me take you to Millet section here. I hope you guys are seeing this type of Millet. And I don't know how you grow your Millet. When you come here, everything is grown in rows, you seeing the rows there. So let me take you to this millet. This is still narrow. We have the finger finger millet. This type here is called finger millet. The variety is narrow mill five. Narrow mill five here. The yield is uh, uh, 2.6 to 3.50 over tons per acre. Then the maturity is 90, uh, 100 days there. That one is 100 days. Wow. So ladies and gentlemen, let me take you together outside there. And I want to remind you today we are celebrating the International World Food Day here. Let me bring you here. This one is another type of millet. It is different from the other one there. So this one here, finger millet. Oh my God. Narrow. Narrow mill four. This one is narrow mill four. The other one was narrow mill five. Then this one is narrow mill four. The yield is 2.8 to 3.7. Then the maturity period is 80 days. The other one, uh, narrow mill five, is uh, 100 days. But this one here is only 85 days. You need to always visit um, a nursery here for you to become a great farmer outside there. There are so many farmers within Teso here and you've never 
visited the home of food, the home of agriculture, and we are blessed to have it in Teso sub-region here. Big ups to the government for supporting Teso in that. Now this one is finger mill, this one is a narrow mill three, narrow mill five, four, this one is narrow mill eh? three. And now this one, the yield is 2.7 to 4.5 tons per acre. Then the maturity rate is 110 days. That one there is 110 days. Let me take you to Kaupis, guys, ladies and gentlemen. And there is a lot here. I think we just need to come here as Jokia to showcase you a lot of things here. But right now, I may not be able to showcase you everything. Aha, uh -huh. let me show you this, this one here. Oh my God. Guys, this is, uh, this is cow peas. This is cow peas, this one here. And I hope you're seeing how healthy it is. People always complain outside there. They have bewitched me. We have witchcraft here. That's why I'm not getting. But just come here. They will teach you how to produce the good cow peas here in nursery. So here we have the... The variety is narrow cow peas two. Narrow cow peas two. The yield is, uh, they have not put the yield there. Then the maturity period is, is 74 to 75, 76 days. And this one will be ready. Wow. I hope you're seeing how healthy it is. Welcome to Africa. Welcome to Uganda. Welcome to Teso. And welcome to Serere. Welcome guys to Nasari. How we celebrate the World Food Day today here in Serere. This is another cow piece. Wow, this one is C cow, C cow 2W. This one is C cow 2W. That is the yield, uh, I mean the variety. Then the yield is um, 1,000 to 1,200 uh, kilograms per acre, and the period there is uh, 80 to 85 days and I see you I see how healthy is it is oh that is coffee guys <laughs> wow <laughs> oh my god so guys let me just uh, end from here but there are so many varieties here I think leave a comment in the comment section you need us to come back to Nasari here to showcase you the things we have here in Nasari allow me to take you to the green gram here oh my god I don't know whether you have this. Because we have gardens right now in our villages there, in Katakui, Serere, and many districts here. I don't know whether yours is also healthy like this. Or someone has bewitched you. I don't think that. You need the right advice. Where are you going to get this right advice? Come to Nasari. They'll be able to educate you, to sensitize you, and to show you how you're supposed to do this. This is not witchcraft. But this is real. Wow. Let me showcase you this. Now this one here, green gram. The variety is uh, narrow, narrow gram one. This one is narrow gram one. And the yield is 1,200 to 1,400 kilograms per acre. Oh. Ah. Guys, I, I think you'll be rich here. <laughs> the maturity period is just 60 days. 60 days to 65. This is just two months and you're able to harvest this. Oh my God, this is so great and I'm super excited today to be here during this day. The attributes here, drought tolerant and resistant to cold shattering. Oh my God. Thank you so much for watching guys, ladies and gentlemen, for that. I remain Julius Ojola, Jokea Services. And thank you so much for watching us. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.